Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, October 4th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Depending on how well your spam filter works, you may have noticed a recent increase in FedEx shipping notification scam emails. Now, the attachment here is actually not crypto ransomware for a change. Instead, and Brad wrote this up today, we do have form book being downloaded. Formbook is a newer information stealer malware and what's kind of unique about it is that it was written without the use of any standard Windows API. A lot of anti-malware triggers whenever a piece of software tries to, for example, take a screenshot or intercept keystrokes using standard Windows APIs. Well, in this case, actually, it all does it sort of from scratch, so it never calls these Windows APIs, making it a little more difficult to identify for anti-malware. Not happen sure why people are still falling for uh, these FedEx shipping notices, but then again, this may be targeting retailers and such uh, for point of sales compromises who do receive quite a bit of shipments and such via UPS and FedEx and maybe expecting something so they may not be that aware that this isn't actually a valid shipping notice. And while we're sort of at the public service announcement stage here, WordPress, yes, you probably know, you probably shouldn't run it. If you do have to run it, then definitely keep it up to date and don't forget the plugins. The latest reminder comes from WordFence, of course, a company that does provide security tools for WordPress. And they're just documenting how in particular vulnerable plugins are being exploited to take over sites. What you can expect happening then is actually often not an outright defacement of the site, but information about your users may get stolen and also new pages may get added that are then used, for example, to distribute malicious software or just to act as a spam landing page. I haven't checked today, but usually WordPress is one of our top hits that we always see in our honeypots. So it is very, very heavily targeted. And to stick with WordPress here for a moment, uh, Sucuri, another security company that sort of focuses on uh, these types of websites, they found actually a malicious ad plugin being advertised. Now, this is not a random plugin. Instead, it claims to be actually a security plugin for WordPress, but instead of securing your sites, it will disable plugins, which actually may be a good thing security-wise, but it also exfiltrates your credentials and adds a malicious admin user as a backdoor. And we got a neat vulnerability in, in an explorer. I call it neat, not really all that severe, uh, not 100% sure how you would exactly actually take advantage of it. But uh, what it really does is that an attacker is able to read the content of your URL bar from their site. So if you start typing something in the URL bar, the site may actually be able to read that content. Requires an object tag in order to then load the malicious code that triggers the vulnerability. Microsoft will patch this as part of a future, maybe this month's patch Tuesday, a proof of concept and all the details are out there. So uh, this is as of right now, sort of a zero data could be used against internet Explorer. And a little follow up to the diary from last week about collecting large PCAPs. There is now a new tool called Enzyme that actually extends this into the wireless realm. Now, with wireless networks, when it comes to PCAPs, you often only collect them on the wired side, which of course does miss a bunch of stuff that is only seen on the wireless end, like all the signaling and such. 
much. This neutral enzyme does read all wireless traffic and then inserts it into Craylog, which is a database, a log database that they picked for this purpose. Looks like a pretty neat tool and you can then go in and do forensics on the data to, for example, look for various attacks or for users looking for certain SSIDs. I can actually see this also as sort of a little physical security tool because often MAC addresses or SSIDs that users are looking for may tell you something about the location of users and, for example, if a user was in the proximity of a sensor at a certain time. And if you don't have enough of me yet, uh, I was actually guest on another podcast this week, cybersecurityinterviews.com, really sort of just chatting about myself and everything security. So again, you can find that at cybersecurityinterviews.com. Thanks, and that's it for today. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.